that they're in a back of the key and I'm hoping that I'm going to show you take you around maybe a drive through in a back of the key. We have a few things to do in Abakaliki today and guys we're just driving around and I thought to show you around my Abakaliki and to think that there's going to come a day where I want to show the world Abakaliki it's um, so beautiful guys it might feel like or seem like this is not a lot to a lot of people but if you're in Nigeria guys let's be let's be honest this is a lot because I'm driving did you see any potholes did your did your eyes see any potholes no you didn't and this is so beautiful because I I remember going to Abakaliki in 2011 and guys the dust that welcomed me into Abakaliki I was like what now we're going to Roban stores if you're in the east you know Roban stores they have branches in Anambra and in Enugu that I know of so guys um, it's just so good too because there were times when the only things we the only thing we had in Abakaliki was stores like like I mean like small shops mini supermarkets and all that and now we have something that looks like a mini um, store or like a mini mall and it's just um, good to experience that We got into the store and surprisingly it was bigger than what I anticipated. I didn't visit Roban stores before I left Abakaliki in around I think 2016. I think there was Roban stores then. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I never visited. That's how I think it just came in before I left Abakaliki. And guys, it's um it's big. It's like normal mall size. And if I talk about this, it might look like this is basic. But if you're in Nigeria, oh, that's Lulu. <laughs> that's Lulu and his cousin. Yes everywhere lulu just wants to explore whenever he's outside whenever he's um he sees space he's just always so excited to explore and he's just always a lot 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 to try to restrict lulu or try to hold him down it's it's something he walked around this store like i was practically always chasing lulu to just like get hold of him so guys i look up and i see this lights like i'm like this people did they use prepaid at all because i just imagine they calculate the amount that they pay for that night you know all those lights to be on so yes guys decided to get water because we're going to the village and the kids have to use um water that we know so and um, that's my cousin's baby norma and lulu funny thing lulu is two weeks older than her how cold is that yes guys so we went to pep shop there was no pep shop when I left Abakaliki a few years ago and like I said when I talk about this stuff they are really big deals because we went from um, people asking if we had light electricity in Ebony State to people wanting to come invest in the state like from these businesses and I saw that before we used to have just only crunchies eatery that's how bad it was um, just country crunchies was the major eatery there but I saw Kilimanjaro I saw Chicken Republic I saw chilies I think I saw like four new eateries in this um, in the capital and guys like um, flyovers everywhere it's just like you could see the development and it's just really because now you cannot ask me where is a bunny because you know that you know where a bunny state is you know <laughs> thank you guys you need to visit a bunny state because we have moved we're no longer on people's level again <laughs> you guys have had a long day and i've actually forgot uh, see all my children at the back i say hi hi yes so guys i even forgot to do an intro Basically today I've just been walking around Abakaliki. We're about to go to the village in a few minutes time. So we just went to do some shopping and just some things we need. I got um, just stuff for the house from Roban stores, yeah. Then went to pep shop and picked a few things for the children. Yeah, so right now we're going back home. Then we'll just pack or put things in the car and go to the village. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like this video and share this video. Um, it's evening. I think it's past four. We've been out of the house for like for over an hour. So let's just see how it goes, guys. I look at all this and I see all the history behind it and it's just so beautiful to watch. I remember a few years ago when my cousin who was a law student has to pass this road to go to school. She would have to cover her white, you know how law students wear white and black, right? She would have to cover her white with like a scarf so that it would still be white by the time she got to school. Even when I would come from here to school, I would have to wear my jean trousers just once because by the time you get to school, it's already so dusty. And see that these roads are tired now, oh, it's just so good to watch. Village, um, it's 
about an hour from Abakaliki and I'm going to show you just the road whilst we are going. <laughs> Guys, there's no single pothole on the road to my village. In fact, the whole of my state, there's no pothole. <laughs> Guys, okay, come along with me. So we passed command secondary school if you school that command give me a shout out in the comment section i passed one of your schools so i also got to a point where then there was this place leads to the federal university equal but i couldn't we don't we didn't pass that route to get to the village and something else i noticed was how there's like a plan for everything and even though like i said in the market video that the state is not ready yet but when it gets to that point it has a plan like a structure this is the point where they gave people to sell building material so this place they sell building material is at the outskirts of town but it's an organized market where people who sell building material and all those stuff building materials rather and all those stuff stay. so when the state becomes like huge these things are planned and like these places have markets they're not really clustered in town and you see how the sky is beautiful <laughs> i know i'm hyping my state but guys we suffered in nigerian people's hand you know people asking you ah you have from any state how is everybody state how does it look there what do people have there people have light i mean i went to enugu one time and one girl asked me i mean in 2013 if we had light in ebony you know yeah was plenty for this nigeria so now that we're beginning to see the limelight now i begin to stand up and take care of ourselves i'm going to be all up in your faces because we are doing the work so i'm very close to my village right now and if you don't know by this time i'm going to uburino house or a local government ebony state and guys i'm going to show you this is like a church in the, on the entrance of the village yeah i'm also going to show you this is like a market too we're getting to the market point um they call it the new market aviovu in Uber. then the lady with the salt on her head like the statue is a symbol of the salt that is gotten from uber in ebony state if i have time in this village when i'm in the village i'm going to take you guys to the water where they get the salt and you see how the salt is produced from the water but i'm not making any promises but i want to i just hope i have time to make that video so when you come to uber and you see this woman with this salt ibata uber ngeo <laughs> welcome guys thank you guys so much for watching this video please like this video share this video subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next one until then stay safe and be kind bye